Hello everyone, today we have another live stream, so this one as I promised will be about something different. This is a small scale aircraft release from Brand Gun. it is modded in 144 scale as it's written here. Um, it is already available for purchase from official Brand Gun website. And as you can see, plastic copies P39Q Ira Cobra. So you can see this nice box art on the front. And once again, I'm repeating that I would be happy to get this box art as a poster. So it would be really nice if Brandgun started uh, selling them as a separate posters. I mean, you can agree that this picture looks really good and it will look even better on the wall. Thank you for the first like, by the way. And now just give me a second. I need to place my mouse somewhere so that it won't be here in the shot and we can zoom out a bit as you can see we have some problems with slide because i'm using the natural light so that's why i decided to use the small scale uh, kit so first of all here we have the box size box size is as you can see not that big because it's small scale aircraft so there is no surprise uh, that it's uh, it fits in the hand i would say then on the rear side we have marking guide for this aircraft as you can see there are three marking options included into this kit and all of them are quite interesting i would say especially this orange aircraft it will be up to you which one you will choose but um, as far as i remember brain gun has quite nice decals so it's also not an issue uh, this is a side opening box so just give me a second here is what we have inside I don't see anything extra so here we have all plastic sprues together with assembly manual clear sprue and also decal sheet so let's open it okay and now we have two gray plastic sprues and also one transparent plastic sprue so here we have the first one let me position it somehow in the frame now we should be able to see it so here we are uh, we have here two fuselage halves we also have the tail wings and also some minor external elements molding quality looks really good i would say and external detailing as far as you can see we have recess panel lines and place i mean you can't ask for more in such small size so there is no surprise that we have only those features and also if we flip it over of course there is not that much of the interior detail and why because this is a small scale aircraft obviously so uh, manufacturer included i think only the cockpit floor which we will see on the next plastic frame and also note that we don't have any guiding elements so you have to deal with it um, somehow only the tail uh, this rudder section as you can see it will serve as a guiding or placement element on this model next we have another plastic sprue uh, here as i said we have a uh, wing as you can see this mold is one piece part so at least you won't have to deal with separate halves and also note that machine gun barrels and also pitot tube are pre-molded of course ailerons and flaps are also molded in so <laughs> it would be strange to expect something different here we have cockpit floor pilot seat um i'm not sure what is this because as far as I remember, doors were molded shut. Here we have one piece landing gear wheels, landing gear doors are here. Again, on the wing we have recessed panel lines, so it should be relatively nice um, finish once you paint it and maybe apply some, uh, I would say, weathering. It will be up to you if you would like to have a dirty aircraft or clean one but molding quality seems to be fine i mean even on the thinnest or smallest parts we have really small attachment points which should help you with easier uh, separation of the parts next we have one and only clear plastic sprue again i will wait for camera to focus because it doesn't want to focus now we should be able to see it so we have one piece canopy and i mean you can't do anything here you have one piece part you will have to install it um, molding quality looks really good but there are no masks included so you have to deal with it with your own hands i'm not sure if there will be some aftermarket set usually brain gun um, manufactures some uh, i would say mask set for it its own kits so i guess there is a good chance that you will be able to buy a separate mask set and then use it on this small ira cobra next we have also decals sheet 
There is no mention where it was printed, but printing quality looks really good. I don't have any complaints here. Uh, we have here all necessary symbols for three marking options, as you remember. And I can bring them even closer so that you can see that printing quality is quite nice, I would say. And as far as you can see, there are no decals for the cockpit. So you won't be able to copy even the instrument panel. You, I mean, if you would like to have some dials on your instrument panel, uh, you will have to copy it with a thin brush or something else, something similar. And next we have last but not the least is um, this thing. It's assembly manual, obviously, as you can see, it is a simple black and white brochure. It is uh, featuring the parts map on the first page. There is no history note about this famous aircraft. So if you would like to know more, you will have to find some reference book about this uh, P-39 aircraft. But next page brings to us the assembly process. So as you can see, this part is actually the rear wall of this aircraft. And also here we start with cockpit four, we install the pilot seat, we install the uh, instrument panel. Then we continue by joining the fuselage hubs together. We install the propeller hub on the propeller. And note that you will have to place some weight on the nose section, because even though this is a small scale aircraft, it is a front leg aircraft. So you can get a tail seater if you won't place any um, weight into the nose area. I mean, it is pretty much obvious, but some others think that if it is small scale model, they can avoid any uh, weight placement in the nose area and then they get just a tail seater and they're surprised. Here we join the fuselage half, actually the fuselage assembly together with a swing. Then we install the canopy. Here I know that you have to cut the uh, gun barrels because they were not present on the wing. Here we install the separate exhaust stacks and then we flip it over. Here we continue with landing gear system, the external, um, I would say, armament gondolas. As you remember, they were molded as one piece parts and that will be pretty much all I would say. So I don't see any other extra um, steps. Here we have short address of the manufacturer. So if you would like to visit them, you would know where to go. In my opinion, kits such this one, they uh, bring really nice chance to build something, I would say typical or classic in a small scale without wasting several weeks or maybe even months. And still you get a nice small copy of the famous aircraft and you can even gift it to somebody, they will be really happy or maybe make some interesting project. I saw some guy putting the um, aircraft into the wine glass or something else. I mean, it will be up to you and it's really nice that you can play with this. And that's pretty much all I would say. So I would like to thank you for joining today. Um, this kit is already available on official Brand Gun website. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And also if you have something to say about this kit, write it here in the comment section below. If you would like to um, support us even more, press the subscribe button and there is also bell button close to it. It will help you to be notified about any fresh video reviews. And of course I will see you in the next release as usual, so stay tuned. Uh, if you have this bell button, you will know about any live review immediately. Thank you for watching once again and I will see you soon. Bye.